Hey guys, so today we have another custom LEGO creation. This time it is the Razor Crest from The Mandalorian, fully detailed on the exterior as well as the inside. I tried to include a lot of things from the actual show and significant parts of the ship. Before we get into the build, I just want to say that I have a Mandalorian brick film dropping next Friday. I made a small video with the Speeder, the tat Trouble on Tatooine set, so stay tuned for that next Friday. But yeah, another custom build. This is the Razor Crest from the Mandalorian. The Lego set, I thought, just looked a bit inaccurate with the length and the size of some of the features. The engines, I thought, were a little too skinny, and then the cockpit was a bit too short and stubby, so I took the set, as well as bricks that I had, and turned it into this, and I think it looks pretty good. I'm very happy with the engines and the front of the build, as well as the sides the whole build really but yeah so just a quick 360 uh season two just ended i thought it was pretty good obviously this ship is a big part of the show because it is his personal starfighter everything is pretty much in line with the original set the all the flaps open the cockpit opens the only thing that doesn't really work is the flick fire missiles don't shoot anymore so now let's look at it in more detail so here is the razor crest we'll get to the interior after because i really like a lot of the stuff that i added like the weapons case, the carbonite uh, chamber, the bed, the toilet, and all that stuff. But first we'll look at the outside. I guess we'll just work our way from the front to the back. So here is the adjusted cockpit. It has three seats inside now, which is accurate to the show. So all three of our characters are in there. The front of the ship is adjusted to be slim, like the cockpit, just because that shape was something that I really saw in the show that I didn't see delivered in the set. So there's the sloping, and then some tiling there. The adjusted guns, not too much of a difference from LEGO's version. Just a bit different pieces, a little roller skate to make it look more accurate. And then the side, sloping. And then here I added a ton of bricks just to get the color to come across better. As you can see, the stripes sort of continue with these bricks and then make their way back because the paint seems to extend on the real set. So all the way down, just some more plating and stuff, and then of course the landing gear. But sloping on the side has been extended as well as this piece is what was on the original engine. But I replaced that with bigger curves and then added that one here. So the cockpit has been extended a lot. And it looks kind of long, but it is that long in all of the photos that I referenced. Sloping on the side, more color goes up. I really like this plating on the wing area. I think it looks really good. All of this just to add that shape. And it goes out to the other wing, like so. And then the other side is the same. Same with the painting. From the side, you can really see how the stripes continue. I'm really happy with the way that turned out. Onto the engine. So, the front of the engine has that little brick in it that's almost like a fan. And then the front. The cylinders are from the turbo tank. These are the pieces on the side of the turbo tank. And then the Lego engine build is right behind it. These are the frigate engine pieces. They're much larger than the ones that came in the set. And then these slopes are to represent those flaps that open up sometimes. And then the back, this is like a bionicle piece or a wheel with the actual engine just attached into it. Then you come to the side, you can see the detailing this slope here. Then we come to the top. We got the slopes here on both sides. Just a little hole there because that was a design I saw on the ship. There was a space in the top. So the top does come out, but you can put someone in there if you remove this piece. But I don't think the escape pod was accurate to the show. So I didn't, I wasn't too keen on keeping that. Now if we move along to the back, I think this is my favorite angle to look at the ship. Like that. But yeah, we got a bunch of sloping in the back here. Tried to give it a very gradual end. More plating on the sides. And then a bit of engine work or great work right here. As well as the back. It's got these little pieces for more grates. And then the side with these leading into a bit more plating on the slopes. And the ramp obviously comes down. And you can look inside there. And again, we'll take a look at the interior after but yeah that's pretty much it for the outside i'm very happy with the way it turned out i think it looks really good 
So first we'll take a look at the cockpit. You just remove this piece right here, like so. This is kind of the door, I guess. It moves down to access the back, but again, I couldn't really make it slide apart. But yeah, so here's the cockpit, and we've got all three characters in there, like so. And then Mando has got a little control panel right in front of him that he can fly the ship with. And then behind the door, there's a bit of space right there. So before we get into the interior, I just wanted to show the ramp still comes down. That's essentially where they'd enter. And as you can see, you've got the ladder that comes down from the upper levels of the ship in there. But yeah, so this is the ramp that would come down on the side. You can kind of see in there, but back there is the weapons wall. The ladder that comes down from the top, as well as that carbonite chamber. That's where he would throw the people in before he turns them into carbonite. And then those are the two, I'm forgetting the name, but those are the two people who've been captured and their stacks are right next to each other. Just a little box. And then this is kind of an east, not an easter egg, but a scene from season one. We've got a droid right here on the wall that he wraps up. It's one of the droids that was in the bounty hunter crew that he captures. And now we'll take all the flaps down so you can see everything. So here is the full ship. Now all the parts have been opened up as you can see. All the flaps are down as well as the back. And we can really see what's in here. So we're going to start off with Rogu and Mando's bed. So here's Mando and Grogu in their beds, and he's in his little container. He sleeps in like a bag in the show, or a little sack, but yeah, so nothing too big changed to this section of the ship. And then I'm actually going to take out the weapons wall, just to show you what the build looks like, because I like the build. So here it is, got three weapons, a rifle, standard blaster, and pistol, and then just some tiling, and as you come around on this side, you see the ladder, and then behind the ladder, there are the weapons. I wonder if I can get the ladder up, just to show the weapons a bit more. I don't think so, but if you come at this angle, there you can see that is the weapons wall. And it's just right behind the ladder. Here is the toilet on the other side of the ship. Just a little bit of piping or encasement for the liquids, I guess, and then the toilet, and then just a couple pieces in front of it. So that's where the toilet would be, right behind the cockpit. And there you can kind of get a better look at the carbonite chamber, as well as the two people that were stored right there. And then from the back, obviously the ramp comes down, and there's a box, and as I said, the droid is on the wall over there. But yeah, so that's basically it for all the sections. And in the top as well, you can see this is the space behind the cockpit, and then the ladder is right there, with just a few light details that I saw on some of the pictures I was referencing. And we can actually take the cockpit out and to get a better look at it, but here's all three of them sitting. Here's a better look at the cockpit. It's three red seats on swivels, and then some control panels in the front right in front of him, and then two on the ground, and it just clips into the ship right at the front. Yeah, that's it for the interior as well as the exterior. I've been having a lot of fun with these builds lately. I don't know why, I've just been, I made a TIE Defender as well as an Imperial Troop Transport that I might do a video on later. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Again, I have a Mandalorian brick film dropping next week as well as a 501st video coming in the near future, February probably. So if you guys like these builds, let me know. And let me know your thoughts on this Razor Crest and the Lego version. So again, thank you guys for watching and supporting me through my mini hiatuses, but this year trying to release a lot more videos. So stay tuned for that, and I hope you all have a great day. Oh shoot, I was recording that whole time. <laughs>